Sewing of Pinafore In the previous session, we cut the fabric pieces for the pinafore bib. Now we will see how to sew it to a half skirt to make a pinafore. At the end of this session, you will be able to Sew the fabric pieces for a pinafore. Let's first familiarize with the tools and materials required for sewing a pinafore. They are Cut out fabric pieces Matching thread Sewing machine A pair of small scissors Hand sewing needle Hook Measuring tape and iron box. To make a pinafore, we need to attach a pinafore bib to a half skirt. We have already learned how to make a half skirt with box pleats. Let's see how to make a pinafore bib. Place the right sides of the front and back facing pieces on top of another and sew them at the shoulder sides with a half inch seam allowance. Open the shoulder seam and press the seam allowance. Now place the right sides of the front and back bib on top of another and sew them at the shoulder with a half inch seam allowance. Open and press the seam allowance at the shoulder seam. Place the facing on top of the bib neck opening right sides together, aligning the shoulder seams and the cut edges of the front and back neck opening. Starting from one shoulder, sew with a quarter inch seam allowance all around the neck opening. Snip in the corners till 1 by 16 inches away from the stitches. Then press the seam open and turn the facing inside and press the seams flat. Now top stitch all along the neck opening starting from one shoulder and ending with a reverse stitch. Turn the bib to its wrong side and fold the cut edges of the facing quarter inch under. The fold should be running parallel to the neck opening. Then top stitch all along the fold starting from one shoulder seam and end the same with a reverse stitch. While sewing the corners, we have to be careful to get a neat stitch line. Next, fold the cut edges on either sides half inch over and press the fold. Then press the same another half inch over and press the fold. Now top stitch along the fold from one end to the other, starting and ending with a reverse stitch. Then top stitch close to the folded edge from one end to the other, starting and ending with a reverse stitch. Repeat the same for the other side also. Thus we have completed making a pinafore bib. To make a pinafore, we need not make the full half skirt. Instead, sew the half skirt just before joining with the waistband. From here on, we will continue and add the bib to make the pinafore. The hemmed opening of the skirt is on the left side, so when we look at the skirt piece with the right side up, the front is the left half and the back is the right half. Therefore, we will place the front bib with the wrong sides together, centered at the left half of the skirt. Sew the front bib on with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then, we take the back bib and place it centered at the right half of the skirt. 
sew the back bib on with a quarter inch seam allowance. Thus we have attached the pinafore bib on the half skirt. Next, we will attach the waistband in the same way we did for the uniform half skirt with box pleats. Take the skirt piece and the waistband and align the side seam notch of the waistband with side seam of the pleated skirt right sides together. Sew the waistband and the skirt piece with a half inch seam allowance together. Starting and ending with a reverse stitch. Half inch seam allowance on either side of the waistband should be sticking out of the skirt piece after joining the waistband. Then press the seam open with the seam allowance facing towards the waistband. At the other cut edge of the waistband, fold the cut edge half inch towards the wrong side and press it flat. Then fold the waistband in half at either ends aligning the folded seam allowance. But shift the cut edge of the inner waistband about quarter inch outward in an angle. Now sew along the short ends of the waistband with a half inch seam allowance taking the straight edge as the guide and right next to the skirt piece. Then turn the waistband to its right side ensuring neat corners. Align the folded edge of the inner waistband with the previous seam. Then top stitch all along the waistband. Turn the front and back bib upward and press along the opened seam. Finish sewing all four belt loops half inch away from the waistband onto the skirt with a reverse stitch. Continue sewing the waistband, then bend the other end of the belt loops 3 by 8 inch inward while sewing. And when sewing of the belt loop, use the reverse stitch and then continue straight. Repeat this for the remaining 3 belt loops to come. When getting to the last corner, Turn again and sew over the starting stitches and end with the reverse stitch. Finally, fix a hook onto the inner waistband of the front part of the skirt. Make sure that you have made the side seam opening an adjustable hook closure on outer waistband of the back part of the skirt and the bottom hem. Iron it neatly by arranging all the box pleats. Thus, we have completed sewing a pinafore. It is very important to verify the various aspects of quality of the finished product. So let's do a quality check to ensure that our pinafore is of good quality. Check the neatness of the stitched lines and reverse stitches, even and parallel seam allowances. Check if the corners at the neck are neat. Check if the front length is 10 and a half inches. Check if the waist circumference is 12 inches. Check if the waistband is evenly 1.5 inch wide. Check if the belt loops are fixed in the right places and fixed upward in a straight manner. Check if the pleats are arranged evenly. Check the full length of the pinafore. Check if the bottom hem is 2 inches. Check if the hand stitches on the hook are neat and without knots. In this session, we have learned how to sew the fabric pieces for making a pinafore. Before we conclude, let's take a look at the key points involved in sewing a pinafore. Step 1. Prepare the half skirt with box pleats before joining the waistband. Step 2. Attach the pinafore bib to the half skirt. Step 3. Attach the waistband to the half skirt. Step 4. Fix the belt loops hook closure, hooks, bottom hem and side seams. Step 5. Iron the product neatly and check for quality. With that, we've come to the end of this session.